Can I get the sound guy up here? This mic was improperly set up, and I'm gonna sue your ass. Um, I'm Tony Santana, I'm gonna be doing some comedy for you tonight, and uh, one of the things, I was doing some researching on YouTube, and I was watching these comedians, and I'm noticing uh, a lot of things these, these comedians are doing is um, they're making kind of funny observations, things they see and stuff, and I thought I'd give that a try. So, uh, so one of the things I saw the other day, I was uh, looking out the window, and I saw this, this guy, uh, he's riding around on a bike, and he had this, uh, you know, this weird kooky helmet on, and I thought, thought he looked pretty funny. And um, anyway, the other day I was uh, walked into a cafe. You know, you guys will like this one. This uh, this kind of Wellington humor of a uh, a guy. I got this. Um, I, I tried to order coffee, and I said, um, "Yeah, could I get a cup of joe?" And he says, "Oh, sorry, sir. To, at this store, this establishment, we only do uh, cold pressed mochaccinos." I said, "Can I just get a cup of joe?" <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> I was walking down the street the other day, and I uh, I saw this guy. He had a dog, and uh, the dog did a crap on the ground, and um, and I and I went up to him because he didn't pick up his dog's crap, and I said, "What are you doing? Why don't you pick up your dog's crap?" And he says, "I don't have to do that. That's I can do whatever I want or some crap like that." And I said, um, "Hey, the kind of attitude that you have." is very similar to what your dog just did on the ground. <laughs> and you should have seen his face. He was like, huh? <laughs> did he just say that? <laughs> and um, I was walking around the other day, and I uh, went to this place, maybe you've heard of it, it's called Newtown. And um, one of the things I was thinking when I was walking around there is, um, hmm, this, this Newtown seems kind of like Old, old town. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, what's this thing? Oh, Bob. Yeah, well, I was, um, I got this, this prop comedy, like, character. Um, I bought this, um, I bought a beer the other day, and I found out that on the inside of Bottle Cap, they have a joke, and I thought I'd share it with you. Because it says, um, whose golf swing was once described as octopus Falling out of a tree. Ain't takers. It's um Jim Frick. And uh, I don't really get that one, but if you're a golfing fan, you probably like that one. <laughs> and um, so yeah, another thing I was thinking about with um oh here we go. This guy, so I was thinking about comedy and uh, what funny things I could do. And I noticed some of these comedians they do kind of funny impressions or characters. So I've been working on this impression a while, I, you know, I'll try it out. And it's um, it's like called, oh, I'll just show you. So imagine there's a big long line here, and this is what I'm doing. I'm not being myself here, I'm being a character. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Uh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Hey, that's, he's called Mr. Excuse Me, he's still a work in progress, but I think he's something good. <laughs> and um, so the other day I had a course of celebration. What does it say? Was, yeah, I took my old lady out to a restaurant, and uh, we had a good time. It was kind of like a, uh, you know, a special occasion. We went out, saw a movie, saw this movie, Alien. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's probably one of the grossest movies I've ever seen. And this alien in it. And I gotta say, if I saw an alien like that in real life, I'd have to say, I don't want that thing anywhere near me. But anyway, I was uh, in the restaurant, and uh, we got a nice meal kind of thing. Oh, it's kind of like, well, take it back a bit, actually. I'm looking around, like, this place is pretty nice. And then the first thing that comes up is this, this uh, waiter, he says, hey, buddy, can I um, give you, would you like me to give you the check? And I say, hey, you haven't even given me the menu. And, uh, and then, to make matters worse, when the food does come out, it's too cold. And uh, I was, I was, it, it was too cold and I didn't like it. And, um, <laughs> and then, on top of that, when we get the dessert, my wife, uh, I didn't get dessert because I was uh, washing my figure, I think. Yeah. And uh, my wife, she, she gets this nice piece of dessert. And I really regret not getting the dessert. And, um, and, um, 
So yeah, and then, so she comes out, the dessert comes out, and I'm like, oh, please, please, can I just get a one bite? And she says, no, 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 you can't have a bite. You should have ordered your own. I'm like, come on, please. And she said, uh, she said no. And I said, ah, oh, come on. And the manager comes out and says, what seems to be the problem? He says, I'll tell you what my problem is. I can't stop thinking about this gross alien. Your waiter gives me the check before he gives me the menu, and the food's too cold, and then my wife won't give me a bite of this dessert. And the manager says, hey, you got a lot of problems. I say, hell yeah, I got more problems than Tiger Woods. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>